Hey guys, Archim here from Admin Renovations. Uh, so we want to do another uh, helpful video for you. Uh, today we'd like to talk about uh, co contract administrator and their role. Um, so while it's perfectly understandable that cost plays a huge role in uh, building your new house or doing an extension of any type, uh, it is crucial to consider hiring a contract administrator or a CA for short. Uh, this can be an architect that you already know uh, who handled your planning application supply drawings uh, or you can find uh, a local quantity surveyor with extensive knowledge in construction industry so why is this important uh, there are a number of benefits that they would bring to the table including the list that we're going to go through right now so number one they will have your best interest at heart uh, when it comes to money you must stay vigilant and on your toes uh, failing this will most definitely mean someone taking advantage uh, with the world where you can literally buy anything, money comes in high demand, as you know. Number two, it's common that they will deal with your chosen contractor or recommend someone they dealt with already. Uh, this, this can be very valuable to you as you may benefit from someone else's experience uh, and not go blind into it based on promises or any kind of gimmicks. Number three, uh, all cost comparison would be done by them and the best choice uh, in their opinion brought forward for your consideration. Uh, value for money should be your number one priority as well as having someone trusted and knowledgeable carrying out the work. Uh, if you have one without the other, it may end, end really badly. Number four, uh, full account management and site meetings can be part of the service if you decide to opt in. Uh, this would normally come as an extra service you might want uh, which is recommended. Uh, it will guarantee weekly updates, uh, cost control, uh, quality checks, and ongoing communications between all parties. Uh, don't allow uncertainty to become part of the project. Uh, number five, uh, they will hopefully take most of the stress out of the process, uh, leaving you to stay focused on what is the most important and uh, more enjoyable. Uh, being the first contact for all communications uh, in the project will unquestionably suck all the fun out of the activity. I can promise you that. Uh, this shouldn't be the case and uh, what it should be is one of the most exciting and joyful uh, moments in your life. Building a house, extending or refurbishing is a colossal improvement to your everyday life uh, and it's a cause for celebration. How do I find someone good to do this for me? Well, I'm glad you asked that. So the process of selecting a trustworthy CA or contract administrator is very similar to finding a building company or any other company for any other uh, work that you may need within the house or you know, for anything else. So uh, check the company name online, check their website, go to companieshouse.org uh, and uh, check Google for reviews. Uh, then accreditation such as uh, RICS and Reba should be a standard. Uh, ask for their portfolio with references and photographs. Uh, compare costs with at least three different companies to pay a fair price. Uh, check what's being offered within their quote. This must be uh, clear and written in, in plain English. Um, what sort of fees should you expect to see? Okay, well that, that's, that can be a little bit tricky, but we'll try to give you the best advice possible. Uh, this will depend on many uh, factors uh, including size of the company, their reputation, uh, their track record. Uh, on average, you'll be looking at about seven to ten percent of the total construction contract uh, for the role of a CA, including responsibilities that come with it. Uh, it's not advisable to agree to a percentage-based fees uh, or fee, as it will create a conflict of interest. The more it costs to complete the project, the bigger the cut they'll be entitled to. This can open a can of worms with variations in provisional sums if there are any. So be smart and fix the cost. Uh, what if you decide to save the cost and try to deal with it on your own? Uh, well, you know, it's definitely not advisable. Um, this can be an option, but be warned that it's very time consuming, uh, stressful. If you're unfamiliar with the industry, uh, quite technical, you might struggle to cope with clauses and the legal side of things. Uh, you will need to read a lot of literature to be prepared and talk to at least few people who done it by themselves. 
the process of building your own house is hard enough on its own so try not to complicate things from the outset and get someone experienced in the job to be able to take on daily challenges and make sure they have your vision in mind uh, thanks for tuning in guys i uh, hope was this i uh, hope this was helpful uh, please let us know the topics you'd like us to talk about and we'll make more information available uh, completely free if you like the advice please like our channel um, subscribe to future videos and you have a great day and we'll catch you later thanks for tuning in bye